Hey everybody, so for the last few days, I've been thinking about a tweet from Brianna Wu. She posted a picture demonstrating that male virginity is on the rise and wrote the text, It's unquestionably true that loneliness in young men is a skyrocketing problem. What is the policy prescription? The best one I have is that we need older, emotionally mature men to step up and help socialize these lost boys. And she continued to write, The other policy issue is undoubtedly social media and online addiction, stopping people from forming relationships in the real world, but I cannot think of a coherent policy response to that. So I want to focus here, I'm sick by the way, that's why I'm talking like this. So I want to focus here on that first tweet, Brianna's best policy prescription. We need older guys to step up and help socialize younger boys. So this is probably obvious, but the first thought I had upon reading this tweet was, that's not a policy. That doesn't describe any kind of policy. Maybe there's some general legislation we could pass that would encourage older guys to help younger ones, uh, but I doubt it. And in any case, the suggestion on its face doesn't refer to any coherent policy, a concrete thing we can actually do to society. And given this, given that what Wu is saying is not a policy prescription, I found myself asking, why exactly did we start here? Why was this our first crack at the problem of male virginity? If you asked me, Henry, why do you think younger guys are more likely not to have as much sex these days? I would suggest a few possibilities. Maybe it's that living at home with your parents is so much more common now than it used to be. Maybe it's that people aren't getting married as young as they used to. Maybe it has something to do with wage stagnation. Maybe it's because there aren't a lot of public spaces for people to meet without the internet. Maybe, as Brianna suggests, men have more options to be entertained at home that don't involve going out and having sex. You could come up with a million factors here. and some some have associated policy prescriptions that I'd want to enact, and some don't. But why, when we're talking about this, is it so easy to suggest what Brianna does? That the problem is some rot in the psyche of young men. That the reason they're not having as much sex is that they have not been trained competently in the proper ways to be a man. And that solving this problem involves some loose policy surrounding the actions of like 40-year-old guys. Brianna's tweet is not the first time I've seen ideas like this. There's a lot of discourse on the internet these days surrounding the idea that masculinity is in crisis and that to help men, we need to help masculinize them in good ways. And I'm not saying that everyone saying this is bad or whatever, but I don't understand the general gesture of it. It feels like a way of countering MRA narratives. Andrew Tate must be replaced by more positive visions of masculinity or whatever. But the thing is, it all centers this vision of men as defective machines, failed operators of society, a class of people that is lesser than past generations were on some fundamental level. I don't believe it. I think the problems young men experience today, like every other sweeping problem, are best to think about systemic in terms of actual material reality. And I find it surprising how easily we enter these discourses around a vision of failed maleness, the wounded male psyche. We do this, I think, at the detriment of the men we seek to help. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I, uh, once again, I'm sick. That's why I'm like this. Bye.